The New Yorker has posted an article titled Christopher Steele, the man behind the Trump dossier, how the ex-spy tried to warn the world about Trump's ties to Russia. I'll post a link to the article in the description box below. I'm going to quote some of the article in this video to give you some of the important points about Christopher Steele's background and his involvement in current events. Christopher Steele is a former British spy who worked for MI6, which is the Foreign Intelligence Service of the United Kingdom. In other words, it's the CIA of the UK. Steele did his work for years in Moscow, working out of the British Embassy under diplomatic cover. Then, after returning to the UK, Steele continued to work for MI6. In 2006, Steele was put in charge of MI6's investigation into the death of a former Russian KGB officer and Putin critic who had been recruited by MI6 and had suffered an agonizing death in a London hospital after drinking a cup of tea poisoned with radioactive polonium-210. Steele's investigative work persuaded the UK government to indict two murder suspects. Years later, UK's official inquiry report was released confirming Steele's investigative work that the murder was an operation of the FSB, the Russian spy organization that replaced the Soviet KGB. In 2008, Steele left MI6 to go to work for Orbis, a corporate intelligence consulting firm. Two of his earliest cases at Orbis involved investigating international crime rings whose leaders were based in New York's Trump Tower. Steele's first case was working for England's Football Association, which hoped to host the World Cup in 2018, but suspected dirty dealings by the governing body, FIFA, the Federation International of Football Association, that's soccer. England lost out in its bid to Russia, and Steele was able to determine that Russia had rigged the process with bribes. Steele discovered that the corruption at FIFA was global, and in 2011, Steele contacted an FBI agent who headed the Bureau's Division for Crimes in Eurasia. Steele proved essential to the FBI's ensuing investigation, and in 2015, the U.S. Justice Department indicted 14 people in connection with $150 million in bribes and kickbacks. One of them was Chuck Blazer, a top FIFA official who had an $18,000 per month apartment in Trump Tower. Meanwhile, the FBI had also hired Steele to help crack an international gambling and money laundering ring run by a Russian mobster, and this crime syndicate was also based in an apartment in Trump Tower. Eventually, federal officials indicted more than 30 members of the syndicate. It was as if all criminal roads led to Trump Tower, Steele told his friends. In April of 2016, Steele finished a secret investigation called Project Charlemagne for a private client. It involved a survey of Russian interference in the politics of France, Italy, the UK, and Germany, along with Turkey. His investigative report chronicled persistent aggressive political interference by the Russians, including social media warfare aimed at inflaming fear and prejudice. And also he uncovered financial support given to favored politicians in the form of bank loans and gifts, naming former Italian Prime Minister Berlusconi and French political leader Marine Le Pen and lesser known nationalists in the UK and elsewhere. Russia's long-term aim, his report concluded, was to boost extremist political groups and end the economic sanctions of the EU and the US against Russia.
In 2016, Steele got a call from Glenn Simpson of Fusion GPS, a research and intelligence firm. Simpson was hoping that Steele could help him uncover Trump's ties to Russia. The funding for the project originally came from New York investor Paul Singer, a Republican who disliked Trump. But after it became clear that Trump would win the Republican nomination, Singer dropped out. And at that point, Fusion GPS got funding from the Clinton campaign. Steele found out from his many Russian sources that Russia had videos of Donald Trump engaging in perverted sexual acts while Trump had stayed in the presidential suite of Moscow's Ritz-Carlton Hotel in 2013. Steele also uncovered the fact that the Russians had cultivated Trump and traded favors with him for at least five years. Putin was described as backing Trump in the 2016 U.S. election and had repeatedly given Donald Trump intelligence information on Hillary Clinton. And it was at this point that Steele went to the FBI to alert the U.S. government of the Trump-Russia collusion and to warn them of Russia's influence in the election.